God bless each and one of you, brothers and sisters. Today, God is going to speak to each and one of you right now. We're going to turn to John chapter 10, verse 7, all the way to verse 12. In the name of God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Therefore, Jesus said again, Very truly I tell you, I am the gate for the sheep. All who have come before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep have not listened to them. I am the gate. Whoever enters through me will be saved. They will come in and go out and find a pasture. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I have come that they may have life and have it to the full. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. The hired hand is not the sheep, the shepherd, and does not own the sheep. So when he sees the wolf coming, he abandons the sheep and runs away. Then the wolf attacks the flock and scatters them. The man runs away because he has hired hand and cares nothing for the sheep. I am the good shepherd. I know my sheep and the sheep know me. Just as the father knows me, I know the father. And I lay down my life for the sheep. Amen. This is verse 7 all the way actually to verse 15. Amen. Brothers and sisters, it says, brothers and sisters, in chapter 10, it says in verse 10, it says, The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. The thief, the enemy, Satan wants us Christians and people. Okay, listen, listen closely, brothers and sisters. He wants to steal our blessings and our joy and our happiness. He comes to kill our faith and trust in God. And he comes to try to destroy us spiritually, mentally, and physically. But brothers and sisters, it says right here, also in that same verse, how I, Jesus, have come to... I have come... Jesus says, I have come so that they may have life and life in abundance, that they may have life to the full. Amen. Brothers and sisters, God is the only one who can give us peace in, in all our problems to so remember how the enemy is trying to steal, kill, and destroy. But brothers and sisters, Christ has came to give life and life in abundance, how he still saves today. How he still revives today. How he still heals the sick. Raises the dead. All these things. He still does it today. Amen. Brothers and sisters. Remember how problems are going to come. Because these problems are going to rise us up in our faith. Soldier of God. Keep going. Don't lose your faith. Don't lose your trust with God. Keep on going where God has set you. Because the enemy will come to deceive as an angel of light. We know what pleases God. And we know what does not please God. And the enemy will try to come so we can please our own desires. Just by that and reading by the word of God, we know to rebuke it in Jesus' name. Because we know that anything that doesn't please God is not of his, which is the enemy's. If, it, if it's not of God, and it's not nothing about him, it's the enemy. Okay? And the enemy is going to try to come as an angel of light, trying to deceive us slowly by slowly. So it's like a boxing match so that... He could start stealing our things so that he could start killing and that he could start destroying us mentally, physically, and spiritually. But we got the word of God so that when he throws those darts, how we could protect ourselves from those darts. How we got the word of God, how we got God in each one of our lives. Keep seeking and keep praying and fasting. Brothers and sisters, Job is a very good example of this. He lived by the word of God and he was very blessed. One day, though, the enemy wanted to throw problems in his life so that he could break his faith. And you know what happened? Job went on a fast. Even his own wife told him to curse God. And he said that, that you speak like a foolish woman. How if we accept good things from God. Should we not accept bad? And since, and mind you, he cut his hair and everything fasted for seven days. After those seven days, he had victory and he was twice as blessed before. Since he had sons and daughters twice as before, his daughters were the most beautiful in the woman, in the, in the land. Um, also, how his livestock was twice, um, twice before as blessed. Also, he was even richer than before. 
Sometimes we gotta be zero to one hundred to one hundred to zero to zero to a thousand. This is part of the process so our faith and trust can keep on going in God. Amen. God bless each one of you and remember Jesus loves you. Also, we are also gonna start doing services here in Spotify. So come check us out at Jesus Always Jesus Ministry Always Speaking. God bless each one of you and remember Jesus loves you.